Hi everyone, today we are going to find out how we could get the length of projection of a vector which is usually written as length of projection of vector a on vector d is modulus a dot unit vector of d. Now let's try to understand how this came about. Suppose we have a vector a equals to ab and a line l and suppose vector d is a vector parallel to the line l and if we were to draw a line from A perpendicular to L to intersect at L at point M, M is then called the foot of the perpendicular from A to L. Another terminology here, likewise we can let N be the foot of the perpendicular from B to L. Now vector M N is then called the projection of a vector AB onto L. Now you could simply imagine a torch or a light source shining from the top of vector AB which casts a projected shadow to give us MN. There are two vital ingredients that gives us the length of MN. The first ingredient will be the length of vector AB and the second ingredient will be the angle between these two vectors. So immediately when we think about angle between two vectors, always visualize this which came from the scalar product. Now the length of projection of vector AB on D will then be equals to MN over AB equals to cosine theta. Think about this from a trigonometric ratio perspective which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse giving us cosine theta. Now because we are only interested in the length of projection of vector AB onto D, let's make MN the subject, which gives us AB cosine theta. Now do note that we are getting the length, so we are only interested in the magnitudes of AB and MN. Now this will mean that the length of vector AB is simply the modulus of A, and cosine theta is the acute angle between A and D given by A dot D over the modulus of A modulus of D. Now simplifying, we will have A dot D over modulus of D. Separating them, we will have A dot D over the modulus of D. Now D over mod D is also known as the unit vector of D. Thus the length MN which is the projection of AB onto D, is simply A dot unit vector of D. But what if the angle between A and D is obtuse, and the length of projection of AB on D is MN equals to AB cosine 180 degrees minus theta. Now recall that cosine 180 degrees minus theta is negative cosine theta. Now we will then have negative AB cosine theta. Simplifying, we will then have negative mod A, A dot D over mod A mod D, and we will then have minus A dot unit vector of D. Now combining these two cases together, we can then state that the length of projection of A onto D is simply modulus A dot unit vector of D. And that's why you see a modulus sign over here. Now you can apply them in other scenarios too. If we want to find the projection of vector A on B, simply write the A first, then the unit vector of B, and not forgetting your modulus sign. Now likewise, if you want to get the projection of say vector PQ on RS, simply write the vector PQ first within the modulus, then dot the unit vector of RS. Now if you like this video, do hit the subscribe button so that you can see more valuable content such as this. I will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.